that one. Yeah. They, almost, they almost took her life. Yeah. So when she came, so she couldn't stand. Because of that, when I now saw this vision, I, 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 I pulled a chair before me and I kept the chair. I told her to come and sit down in the chair. Yeah. She sat in the chair and I laid her on her and I, I prayed. Listen to the way I prayed. I said, Father, whatever you just showed me now that you did, do it right now. Amen. And maybe I said so, the prophetic anointing came on me and I command, I speak the child that I saw from the hand of the Lord into your room right now in the name of Jesus. And she fell under the anointing. Hallelujah. Now look at what happened. She left. I told her that you got pregnant in the church, not, not, not at home. Because <laughs> God put the baby in your room. Amen. If it has not happened in the spirit, it cannot happen in the natural. Yeah. So thank God, the following month she took him. Wow. When she took him, she called me I said, Pastor, be praying. I've taken it. I said, I don't need to pray because this one, God, God the one that gave you. Hallelujah. God gave you this one. No demon can take it away. Yeah. One month, two months, three months, oh, four God. months, five months, wow. six months. She now had the vision. Uh -huh. That demon came again. Uh -uh. But this time around, he couldn't go close to the bed. Hallelujah. You know my mm. She just woke up and saw the spirit standing, but he couldn't come close to the bed. That morning, she was panicking. She called me and said, the spirit has come again. I told her, it is not your husband. Uh-uh. So, wow. and this child, it was God that put it in your room. Nobody can take it out. Amen. Do you know that? As I'm talking now, to lock, to cut long story short, mm. she now have three children. Hey, she has wow. three children, two Amen. boys and one girl. Beautiful. We are a spirit husband. Ah. Mm. We are, did she take I mean, anything? Did, did, did I give her salt? Did I give her water? Did I say, let us bind the spirit husband? Mm. How do they even deal with spirit husband? Hey, Tell me. Uh -huh. Actually, break vows. There's a book, mm -hmm. a huge book, I think over 200 pages plus, where you are speaking to these um, entry points of the spirit husband. Jesus. You divorce and issue a certificate for them. <laughs> spiritual, <laughs> spiritual divorce certificate. I kid you not. You know that, I mean, you tell them I did. Honestly, yes. honestly, I don't know that the madness is this chronic. <laughs> I don't, I didn't even know it was this. <laughs> you mean, <laughs> you issue a certificate, <laughs> some kind of divorce. divorce. Can you tell them I have nothing to do with you the day I have divorced you henceforth you are not my husband? That is what they do. Can you imagine? Isn't that crazy? Actually, I didn't even know this existed. So, so, so this woman never passed through divorce certificate deliverance. Mm. She never did all these things. But now she has her children. Amen. You got my point. Amen. You see, it, it is when you have not encountered power from above. Mm. That the power from the next subdue you. Yes. That is the truth. Yes. I repeat, it's when you have not encountered power from above, mm. that the power from the next subdue you. Mm. So if you meet Jesus, thank God we are going to teach the seven class of eternal life. Mm. And you will see how you have to pass from class one, class two, yes. and see when you get power and all this nonsense stop happening. Mm. You see, why Christians go through what they go through is because of ignorance. That's true. And there are pastors that are more ignorant than them. Mm. 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 You get my point? Mm. Do you realize that even if you know some truth, and you meet a pastor who, who knows a little. But the way he screams and shouts about it, it will make you forget your own. <laughs> it will make you forget the little one. <laughs> the, 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 the little truth you know. Yeah. You, you get my point. Yeah. So, so, so this thing, uh -huh. I have seen it from the Bible, mm -hmm. even in my own ministry, mm -hmm. that these are demons. Mm -hmm. Asherah, the Bible calls them Asherah. It is if it is a man manifesting that is bare. Mm -hmm. If it's a if if it's a demon manifesting as a female, that's Asherah. Right, right. It is traceable mm -hmm. to the mother of Nimrod. Mm -hmm. She it, it is the same demon that came upon a uh, Nimrod to sleep with his mother and they give that to a child called Tammuz. It's the same spirit mm -hmm. trying to interfere mm -hmm. with human beings mm -hmm. and interfere. If I everything manifested again, you remember the story of Noah, mm -hmm. the 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 Nephilims. Mm -hmm. It's the same spirit. Yes, yes. It's the same the same. See, nephilim, angels saw the daughters of men were beautiful mm -hmm. and they married them and they took on flesh. You get my You see, there's a lot of mystery in the realm of the spirit. Yeah. But let's limit ourselves to the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. That is what we need to walk in dominion. So, one thing you must know is this that that is just few of the testimonies I can share with you of this, this spirit husband <laughs> stuff mm -hmm. and how God had delivered people. Even the crowd of spirit, we have a lot of testimonies mm -hmm. where people thought they had spirit, spirit husbands. Mm -hmm. And those demons come to harass them sexually in the dream. Mm. But as soon as they step into Man Zion, mm. what does not happen in Man Zion? Stop happening in their oh, lives. No. The Bible says you have no. come into Man Zion, the city of the living God, Amen. where there are innumerable company of angels, Amen. not innumerable company of demons. Amen. No. Amen. Innumerable company of angels, where the blood of Jesus speaks better things than that of Abel, 
not a voice crying against you from your village mm. where you need to appear in a kesha and launch attack yeah. against the voice. Mm. That is crazy mm. because we have the voice of God yeah. that is speaking in our lives yeah. that neutralizes every other voices. Yeah. It's my yeah. prayer that a time is going to come in the body of Christ yeah. where all this refuge of lies mm. will be swept away completely. Wow. Because yeah. it has destroyed so many lives. That's true. Can you imagine a woman who that cannot submit? Mm. You now lie on the devil mm -hmm. and say it's a spirit husband. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is it. I was telling the story of the pastor. Now look at what happened. That pastor, he knows very well that he doesn't have any spiritual wife. Mm -hmm. The wife he married, right from childhood, she was not taught how to submit. Mm -hmm. In their family, the the in fact a little child, little children can point a finger as an adult mm -hmm. without respect. Okay. She grew up a woman who lacks submission. Mm. That did not even know what is submission. Mm. You get my point? She grew up that way. Mm. And the thing now started manifesting in her marriage. Mm. And a pastor was now blaming it on a spirit. Look at that. Look at that. I am Look yet to see a submissive woman woman mm. not keeping her marriage. Except she's married to a man who has no brain. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Only a man who have no brain yeah. <laughs> will, not, will not stay married to a submissive woman. Yeah. Because I'm yet to say a submissive woman. I have a problem in her marriage. You can get my point. So, yes. so we should understand marriage is meant to be sustained mm -hmm. by a pillar, of, the pillar of love in the man mm -hmm. and the pillar of submission in the woman. Mm -hmm. So love exhumes submission. Mm -hmm. Submission exhumes love. That's the way it works. Mm -hmm. That's the way God made it. Mm -hmm. So so we are still in the one pieces of armor and time is really gone. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the belt of truth. Yes. And, and like I say, the, the spoil that the belt of truth will pick for you is freedom. Mm -hmm. I know somebody would think maybe she's married to a spirit of that she should be free by now. Amen. Hearing all these things that you've heard, yeah. it's time for you to stop believing the lies of the devil. Yes. You see, why is it that wherever Paul the Apostle went in the Bible, he faced persecution. Mm. He was a bearer of the belt of truth. Of truth. Wow. Wherever he went, that's the first thing he put into people, mm -hmm. the belt of truth. Mm -hmm. Once he wear them the belt of truth, mm -hmm. there's no force again that could sit on the people. Mm -hmm. So I don't care how terrible the devil, I mean the demons are on your case. Discover truth. Amen. And they will let go. Amen. You get my point? Truth sure. is a major, when I say truth, I'm, I say Bible, I'm going to Bible truth. Mm -hmm. Bible truth is the greatest force on the face of the earth. Amen. That is why you see in a nation, certain nations, they will not tell you not to bring drugs. Though I'm not saying you carry drugs and travel to nations. Mm -hmm. But at least they, they will tell you not to bring Bible. Mm -hmm. There are nations that they condone alcohol, yeah. they condone drugs, but they don't condone the yeah. Bible. Oh, why? You. The Bible is the most powerful force on wow. it. Wow. It's the most powerful force on it. Amen. It dismantles wow. devils. It brings yeah. darkness down. Oh, it brings. Do you know why? For instance, the, the, some of you may not like the current president of, of the U.S., mm -hmm. Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Yes, you may not like him. I'm not saying you should. Everybody have the right to like and dislike whoever. Mm -hmm. But me, once I can trace the will of God being fulfilling in a man, mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I understand? You see, right now. People can hold Bible study in the White House. Wow, look at that. There was a time that some anointed gospel artists came to the White House and the sun and the glory came down. Wow. But in the beginning, but before it was not so. Mm -hmm. America started on, on, the, on the formation of truth. Mm -hmm. You get my point? The reason why the devil is reacting against this man is because of the truth. That is true, right. Are you understanding me? Yes. It's because of the truth. Yes. Now, why did even the president of, of Kenya stand his ground and say, no, in this country we don't condemn gay, mm -hmm. we don't condemn lesbian? Truth. truth. When you have leaders who identify with truth, mm -hmm. you see God coming to help the people. Are you, are you understanding me? Yes. The Bible is the most powerful force on it. I'm so happy that the president some time ago even supported the preaching of the Bible mm -hmm. in, some, in some languages. Yeah. I want you to understand this. May God bless us with such leaders. Amen. We can yes. be compassionate. I mean, like in Nigeria, we don't have that favor. It's crazy. The leader we have now, they don't like the Bible. Are, are, are you understanding me? Yeah. You, you see, let me tell you something. Tr the Bible is the most powerful force on earth. Oh, Why? Lord. Because it holds the truth that set anyone free. Amen. Amen. The truth that set anyone free. Mm. That brings us back to the belt of truth. Mm -hmm. When God fixed that belt of truth in your ways, mm -hmm. spiritually, of course, mm -hmm. it will now bring in the second piece of armor, the breastplate mm -hmm. of righteousness. 
I will talk a little about this now. Tomorrow we will go deep into it. The breastplate of righteousness. We all know without this breastplate, you cannot even make heaven. That's why truth gives you the breastplate. Mm. Heaven is not for practicing sinners. It's for wow. ex-sinners. Wow. Ex-liars. Wow. Heaven is not for practicing sinners. Mm. It's for ex-sinners. Mm. It's for ex-liars. Mm. It's for ex-fornicators. Mm. It's for ex-assassins. It's for ex-criminals. Mm. That is w- what heaven is for. Mm. Somebody will always, each time some preachers want to live in sin, they will, they will identify with David when he slept with Bathsheba's wife. They don't remember David at the point of death. Mm-hmm. At the point of death, David was so born again that even when they brought a virgin mm-hmm. to him, all of us know David and women. Before 30, he had eight. You get my point? Mm-hmm. And his son Solomon came and said, the glory of the later shall be greater. And he had 700 wives. Mm-hmm. Are you understanding me? But David, at the point of death, they brought a virgin and they said the king is dead. Why? He was saved. When you are genuinely safe, yeah. it tame the flesh. Hallelujah. It brings the flesh under subjection. Mm. That is the breastplate of righteousness. You get my point? Mm. It brings, and even Solomon, people only talk about Solomon when he was still living in sin. At his death, go and read the book of, uh, I mean, Ecclesiastes. He wrote it. A man that is going to hell will not write such a thing. Mm. That was at the twilight of his life. That's why he said, he said, vanity upon vanity. Mm. God allowed Solomon to test the maximum of perversion. I will say pers- perversion amplified. Mm-hmm. He tested the highest level of perversion. Mm-hmm. There is no man on earth, no matter how perverse you are, that can, that can have seven, 700 wives mm-hmm. and 300 concubines. Mm-hmm. I mean, 1,000 women. Mm-hmm. There is no man on earth that can, get ma- I mean, that can have such women in his life. Mm-hmm. So God allows Solomon to test the maximum of perversion so that he will come out to tell us that it is vanity. So you, the youth that are listening to me today, that you are lying this uh, deception that's, that's, that, 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 that is a hallmark of every child who is growing up. Immaturity. Mm-hmm. They make you think that sexual activities mm-hmm. is a form that you must get yourself involved in. Mm-hmm. Please, please, please. Solomon saw the maximum and he came out to tell us that it is vanity. Mm-hmm. Please, it is vanity. Mm-hmm. Do you not call pleasure what the Bible calls vanity. Amen. You get my point? Yes. The, breast, the breastplate of righteousness is a major thing you need mm-hmm. that will protect you from even sexually transmitted diseases. Mm. You see, when 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 they tell you to come and talk about use of condom, use of you see, you don't need you all they should teach us is truth. The truth. Carry the breastplate of righteousness. Mm-hmm. You don't need. I mean, you won't be looking. I mean, you. you, you I mean, all these things. I don't even know how to how to put it. You, you don't even need that. Just carry the breastplate of righteousness. That is the greatest protection against sexually transmission disease. It's not a condom. It's the breastplate of righteousness. That's true. That's true. What people that call the Ten Commandments, which they preach against, Mm. if you respect those things, Mm. you are in shape. Amen. If you stay away from sexual activities, Mm. you have stayed away from sexually uh, uh, transmitted diseases. That is all. Stay with Jesus. Live right. Yes. Harmonize your life with the truth. Mm. And you will not even touch diseases. Tomorrow, I will talk, I will go deep into the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. That piece of armor, the first piece of armor that truth gives us after truth has been factored in our spirit. Okay. Somebody asked me a question, is the breath of truth the same with the spirit of truth or is just teaching of truth? Mm. And I, I've already answered. You see, it begins with the teaching of truth mm. and ends with the spirit of truth. Mm. All of them are built of truth. Okay. Wow. Powerful. And look at the time. It, oh, it's gone so fast. Four minutes to the top of the hour. So at least women and men, we have been set free from yeah, the incubus and, and the sacrifice. We know, we know <laughs> what, to, what to expect when you get into marriage. Yeah, so don't get a don't pastor who will tell you, hey, Tia Kucha, Mr. Moses Korea, yeah. your wife has a spiritual husband. <laughs> you have a spiritual wife, man. So don't give some some, some, some certain amount of money. Yeah. So we're so thankful, Apostle Taki, once again. This has been so powerful. The third day of the second week, uh, out of the 13 weeks of truth and grace. Mm-hmm. I cannot tell you how much I'm learning. I am I, so... I'm actually, there's someone uh, on uh, Facebook saying, when yes. I listen to God speaking through Apostle, mm. I did something I've never heard. Amen. 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 That's good. Look at that. And you know, that's why truth is here. That, yeah. that truth is out there to set you free. Mm-hmm. And
and we are always glad to receive comments like that. Once again, you can rush through to Richard E. S. Takeem. That's the Facebook page. We were streaming in live. Uh, Cry of the Spirit uh, Radio, oh, yeah. online radio, right there. And uh, we'll, the audio is already out of, of the, the previous uh, yeah, yeah, the previous there. week, they are available. Right. Yeah. And of course, our winners, uh, we have not forgotten you, of the Ambo. Ochimo Dera and Wilfred of Yambo, you will be getting your gift so, items. So, sorry, please, please go to our church office and yes. pick your gift items. Ochimo Dera, your number ends with five six nine. Yeah. Uh, Wilfred of Yambo, your number ends with six seven zero. So, Find your way to the office. So, it's just two people that got the answer. Then, that is yeah, serious. The others were giving stories of the British, British, <laughs> of the not the King James version. <laughs> they were not specific, but uh, these two, wow, these Ochimo guys. May God bless them so much. They must, they must have some oil of the Holy Ghost in their lives. <laughs> So you will just come to our office, come to the reception, office number 530, floor number 5, mm -hmm. 680 Hotel, Kenyatta Avenue. Come and pick your gift. They are there waiting for you. Amen. One book, Overcoming uh, Witchcraft, and a complete message, the whole of the, the Bible class of last week, I mean the entire four days mm -hmm. that was recorded okay. on this very journey of truth. Amen. Amen. A wonderful gift. Once again, share with your family and friends. Make sure you share, share, share so that they can get this information. Uh, Apostle, let us pray kindly. Yeah, Father, we thank you for the word of truth you have sown in our hearts. I pray, God, that these seeds will grow and make us trees of righteousness. Mm -hmm. I pray for those that are in darkness, that darkness confront not to accept truth, mm -hmm. that you reveal yourself to them in this world. And know, oh God, and let them know, oh God, that you love them. That's why you have sent these words to them. I pray that scales will keep falling from our hearts. And those that you are freed from darkness today will remain free indeed. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen and amen. Let's get to do this all over again tomorrow. Same place, same time. Same place, same time. Thank you very much, Apostle. Thank you very much. God bless you.